It is December 28th. It is 10 to 5 in the morning and I'm going out lobster fishing today. So I want to make this video so everyone can see kind of the day in the life of a lobster fisherman here in uh, Nova Scotia. We'll be fishing off of the Atlantic. So let's go have some fun. Five o'clock, we're leaving the dock. First thing we need to do is this boat's not leaving. So we're gonna bring his line back to the wharf and back out of this thing. And this guy's going at the same time, so that works out perfect. But in case you were wondering of how a boat leaves when they're in the middle, that's how they do it. They just bring the line to the front, over, retie it, and then haul them in later on as you're leaving. since 6 30 we already picked up about seven trawls now so uh, on each trawl there's 15 different pots where the lobsters go into and uh, finally the sun's come out enough for me to film so now I'll film us picking up this next set of pots uh, so you guys get to see what they do and I'll be standing here narrating, narrating this kind of like uh, Morgan Freeman so hope you enjoy the narration if it is too windy, I will uh, mute the rest of the video just for those clips uh, so you guys don't have to hear the static in the mic, but we'll see how it turns out. So you can see the buoy here, and you'll see the trail line of the other buoy. I'll be traveling, hook, hook it in, put it on, and wrench it in. Each one of those buoys are marked with the name of the captain or the boat. Uh, sometimes they leave a phone number in it because storms will fall off and then wash along the shore. And people will find them and uh, call so they can get the buoy back. Because those buoys are about 100 bucks to 200 bucks a pop, so you don't want to be losing them.
this here is a measurement device, so it's going to measure each lobster and make sure it's the right size. If it's too small, we're going to chuck it back in the ocean. And if it is a female that's egg bearing, we're going to throw that back in the ocean. And the ones that we keep, we're going to end up down here. We need to take a peek. So if it is a female, you'll see eggs down here, or we'll carve a notch in the tail so that other fish members know that it's a female that bears a lot of eggs. And we'll throw those back in the ocean so they can keep mating. There we go, that's a winner. We got a male. Nanny's the right size. Some money in the bank, right, Mel? Yeah. Yeah. That's the payday. the female with all the eggs. So you can see why it's so important to put it back in the ocean.
Atlantic Ocean, which is over on this side. So kind of right in the middle, right off the coast of Yarmouth. Beautiful day. Right, we're the steaming at the next set of pots. And the captain has the hall marked down on the GPS, uh, so he knows where to go. Take over the boat? Yeah. Let the young generation try. Yeah. Get too many, too, too high tech now. Get too high tech. Before you know, they'll have laptops and you'll have to do everything on laptops. Yeah. And they hooked it. Watch all the gear. They've installed these new cameras. They're pretty good. See, so the captain can see around the engine room and uh, the back of the boat. Yeah, up there. All right, now, how many years have you been fishing? Oh, no, over 20. 20 years. How many more do you want to keep going? Oh, at least another five. Five more. <laughs> there you go. He's got a target in mind. You got any good stories? No, not really. Not really? You love the work though? It's a work, it's a job now. Yeah. When I was younger it was fun, but Yeah. Now it's just work. Now it's work. It's long hours, so it takes a lot out of you. What's your biggest fear being at sea? I really don't have it. No, you're used to it now? Yeah. Pretty comfortable. You just don't want the boat to go. I don't want to go in the water. No one does. If I went in the water, it wouldn't be over here. That would be over for me. I think you got about 15 to 20 minutes out here. Because the water is so cold. That's all you got. Yeah. I, I don't really know. Huh? Yeah. Like the water. Well, you guys all look out for each other. Yeah. Like it, it's pretty safe. I, I like to say, yeah. you know, that you have trust in your city. Yeah. Like that. And that's basically how you got to run it. Yeah. I think uh, lobster fishing is the most dangerous job in Canada right now. There's more deaths in lobster fishing than I think anything else. Uh, I don't know, Marty, I would say. Yeah, Marty's you know, pretty up there. Up there too, too with it. Yeah. Well, it's definitely a difficult job. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. The, the thing of it is, it can change an angle. Yeah. That's, that's the thing with it. It can be calm. By the end of the day, you can blow like that open. Yeah. So you can't, you can't leave the town. Maybe get some rough seas. Yes. Yeah, all fun. Especially when the dollars, you know, yeah. punch them all to the top. Yeah. All right. Ten well, minutes, Mel. All right. Got a few more to go again before heading back. And it's still a pretty nice day, not too bad. But uh, waves and the wind picked up a bit, as you can see. But still, all in all, not too bad of a day. The temperature is good. And uh, I think it's plus two yeah. or so, so probably around 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Two degrees Celsius, so not bad at all out here. But it's a different kind of cold. It's a wet cold that kind of gets right into your soul. And uh, it's hard to stay warm when you're out there in the elements. Guys, a quick tour of the vessel. There's lunch area, coffee maker, 
stove and a microwave, little sitting area. And down here, it's nice and toasty. You see the beeper, and they have some storage and a little dinette. Now, when they're steaming out, uh, or currently they're only 10 miles away from shore, it only takes about an hour to get there. But the crew will jump in their bunks because it's 5 in the morning and uh, sleep until they arrive uh, to their first uh, trawl to haul. So it gives them a little bit of a rest. And uh, definitely cozy down here. Nice and toasty and warm too. So in case you have not seen a lobster up close, I will show you him. <laughs> this is a small one that we're throwing back in the ocean. But uh, basically they swim really, really fast because they scoop themselves this way and then they'll walk on the bottom of the uh, ocean floor with their little feet. They have everywhere all of these too. Move along with them. Even these little pinchers. And you do not want to stick your finger in there because they are really, really, uh, will really hurt you. will have a really bad day. But according to the University of Maine, they actually do have feelings and emotions, so you don't want to cause some anxiety problems and you can be gentle with them. These are the ones that uh, are going to the market, filling them up still. So we just got finished uh, hauling the last bit of it, so we got all of our lobsters in these pots, and now we're going to go to John's Cove and sell them. crates are weighed, those lobsters are going right into those floorboards, right underneath this wharf, so they can stay fresh until the truck's ready to load them up, and then they get sold and get sent all over the world. It's kind of cool. Huge business here in the Yarmouth area. So this is also where we get the bait that they're going to use next time they go out. So depending on how many days between until they go out again, uh, they'll either put it underneath the boat, down in that hatch, or they'll leave it out if they're going to go out pretty soon. So how many pounds did you catch today? 686. 686 pounds, and what's the price? $11. $11 a pound. So Jackpot! Can, ding ding! <laughs> you can do the math. But just right to remember that uh, they kind of make all their money in the first few weeks of fishing and then the rest of the four or five more months, there's five more months to the season, can uh, be a hit or miss. Yeah. Plus, they got a lot of expenses that we won't even go into 
just to go out and get the uh, get those lobsters, the fuel, and the operating expense of the boat. And then uh, the crew can work on shares. So each one of the crew have a share, right? Yeah. Into it. And then the rest goes to the company. The rest goes to the owner of the boat. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, the banners can only make a day wage. Yeah. And that can range between what? 150 to 200. No, it's 300 now. 300 now. So it's gone up in the last few years. So 300 bucks a day, that's guaranteed, and the rest of the crew are all on uh, percentage. So depending on what they come in with, that's their paycheck. That's their paycheck, and it's pretty good, but uh, extremely hard work. And it's about five o'clock now. We're just heading down the harbor to the wharf to tie up and go home, and then they're going to do it all over again in how many days? Two days. In two days, they're back at it. So good day today, I'd say. Oh yeah. The weather cooperated, so yeah. it's good to play tourists and come along for the ride with them today. <laughs> I picked a good day for this. And we made it back. So to steam your lobster, now that I'm home, you cut the bands off the lobster and put the lobster in the boiling water. So I'll do this one here. Can you do the favors of cutting the bands? The lobsters will die pretty instantly. There you go. And add them to the pot, please. going to steam them. And how long do we steam them for? 15 minutes. About 15 minutes, but they will turn bright right when they are done, so we will know. And just depending on the size. Now you can also boil them in hot, hot water. If you got a larger pot, uh, you just fill it up three-fourths of the way and then uh, wait till it's all boiling and completely submerged in water with salt, of course. Okay, and this is what they look like when they're done. And there we go. Dinner. I hope you enjoyed today's video and this vlog. I'm going to enjoy my lobster right now and uh, eat my dinner and get the baby to sleep. As you can hear in the background, he's playing. So I hope you enjoyed going fishing and lobster fishing with us. If you have any comments or questions, put them down below. I am personally not a fisherman, but I know a lot of fishermen and I'll get the answer for you or find the best answer uh, possible for you. So hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for watching.